What's going on guys? It's LexiV03 and I am back with another video. For today's video, I am going to be doing a tutorial on my slick back with edges. I have done a slick back tutorial on my channel before, but that was a middle part. I'm going to be doing a side part for this video. It's kind of early in the morning, so if my voice sounds weird, that's why. I'm actually getting ready for school, but I figured I would do this video for you guys. So, let's take all my hair down. Also, you guys, the sun is coming in at weird angles. Well, it's not weird angles. The sun's just coming up, but my windows are casting weird shadows on me. So I apologize in advance for that. I'm sorry. Oh, finally. Okay. So my hair is looking a little rough because it's been in a bun for the past couple days it's not in a bun finally i'm about to change my hairstyle so the products i'm going to be using for my slick back is a brush a rat tail comb edge toothbrush eco style gel edge control brush and water spray bottle so the first thing i'm going to do oh by the way if you guys see me looking over here that's because i'm looking in a mirror but i think that is pretty self-explanatory so i'm going to first start off by wetting my hair i had gel previously in my hair and just to loosen it so that it's not really sticking together i'm going to wet it a little bit now let's get this part i don't really have a specific place i like to part i did it one time and the part was like exactly where i wanted it and i don't remember where that was on my head it was to the left that's all i know but i don't remember exactly where the part was it looked really good no i think i think it was a little further back Yeah, it might have been around around here. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. I know right now I look literally a mess, but we're going to perfect this part because it's not really straight. So let's fix that real quick. Okay, okay, this is better. A trick my friend taught me is to put a little bit of gel or edge control right here and it'll define the part. I learned that from Ashley when she did my feed in braids. If you guys haven't seen that video, click the link in the description. This is my first time getting feed in braids. Kind of hurt, but okay. Okay. There's my part. Now we can continue with the rest of my head. So, in order for me to get my slick back to actually be slick, I have to completely comb out my whole head. So I would love to like be able to put it in a ponytail in the back and let the ponytail just live its best life back there. But my hair, it cannot do that. By the time I'm finished combing it through, it's like, even if I don't comb it all the way to the bottom, it's frizzy. There will be no type of curls. There's already like not that much curls because I have been doing it in a bun, but it's gonna be even less curls. So I'm going to wet my whole head and start using this comb brush to comb brush it out. Okay. We are pretty combed out, boys. Okay. So that's all I try to comb out. Like I don't like to comb out the bottom and I'll try to see if it looks decent in a back ponytail, but nine times out of 10, it does not. So now I'm going to be taking the brush and brushing it back to make sure that there's no bumps because I like it really, really slick down and the way my hair is, it looks thick, but it's not that thick and it can slick down very, very easily and be very like extremely slick down with not too much effort. So, um, I'm going to start this swoop. It's going to be like the ones that come on your forehead. I don't know what it's called, but you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. 
so we're gonna start this and kind of brush in the direction that I needed to go in so you guys can see this is just water and excess gel on my head from the last hairstyle I did and it's already looking pretty decent so it's only hopefully gonna get better okay so right here is puffy so I know I'm gonna have to brush there we're not gonna worry about that I can feel that it's puffy back here so I'm gonna take my brush and brush that down and out down and out okay there we go that's better so yeah kind of like this if another piece of hair gets stuck in my lip box okay so this is kind of how it looks i'm trying to decide if i should make my part even lower or if i should just keep it like this that is what i'm deciding right now um, yeah, I'm gonna make it a little bit lower. Okay, maybe that's better, maybe that's worse, maybe it's not even that different. Oh no, <laughs> but we're gonna continue. So, I am brushing my hair again in the direction that it has to go, so everywhere from this way I'm brushing down and back uh, it is kind of hard to get the swoop at a decent part on your forehead <laughs> because when it comes like to here then you have to try to bring it back here without bringing it up on your forehead so that's the tricky part I think to this hairstyle so we are going to brush All right, now we're gonna start eco styling because this section of my hair always looks terrible. Like it looks so thin and I do not know why. So we're gonna start with the eco now. Something. Okay. Okay, there, see, about right there is where I like it to be. Okay, so once I find exactly where I want it to be, that's when I use the Eco Style Gel and I put it right on the line of my hair and my forehead. So right where my hair and my forehead touch is where I put the gel. Okay, not too much on my forehead. We're not trying to break out. And I go all the way up. All the way, all the way. So you see when I added the eco, it looks a lot less thin. That's what we're going for. Okay, so once we have this swoop part over here, kind of exactly where we want it, it might move a little bit, but that's okay. Um, we'll put it back. So, continuing with the rest of my head, I'm going to start putting eco style in it. I am using the olive oil eco. Um, I've tried almost all of them, and they all I, like. I don't notice a difference that much. I know the one with the red cap. I think that's the argan oil one. That one flakes up a lot on my hair. Um, I don't know. It might be different on everybody's hair, but for me, the argan oil one really flakes up. So I don't really use it that much. If unless I have to. All right. All right, now for the hard part to me is putting it in the ponytail because you can see how it already kind of broke apart. Um, trying to fix that is annoying. So let's try. All right, so you can see when I put it in the ponytail, it completely moved back like 35 inches. This is why it's the hard part to me is because this always moves and I do not want it to. So if it could just stay, that'd be great. Okay, 
We are going for the ponytail. We're just gonna go for it. So we're brushing, brushing, brushing. I'm not bothering with this part. I'm gonna fix it after I put the ponytail in, but I need the ponytail. <laughs> Try to get it as slick as possible back here because I can't stand it when it is not slick in the back. I hate that. Like That's like a pet peeve. Boom, ponytail, okay. Now I'm gonna take the time out of my day to fix this, and that's gonna be really easy. I'm just going to get my brush, get some eco, and line everything up. It's really easy, it's easier with a little brush than a big brush, so I'm just gonna do that. Make sure that we can brush it back. So that is our little front piece. Okay, now it's time for this side. I like to also put put pull these out right here. Not too long, but I like to pull them out. And sometimes I'll do like a swirly there. I don't know if I'm gonna do one today because I'm kind of running out of time. All right, you guys, for my edges, I am still not really good at this, um, but you can see my baby hairs, they don't really go in the ponytail that great because they're baby hairs. We're just gonna start at the top and do the best little swoop we can. I know my hair is already in a ponytail. Sometimes I have to do it outside the ponytail. Sometimes it works inside the ponytail. Most times I can do it while it's in the ponytail and it'll be fine. So I'm also using a comb because the brush just doesn't do it all the way for me. I use my toothbrush and my comb for this part. So I'm brushing it down in the direction that I want it to go. And then I'm kind of going like that. But then to define it, like to really separate the next piece of hair, I use a comb and then I go like that and I brush back and I eco. The first one is like never the best one for me because it's just like coming out of nowhere. So he has no guy on top of him to define him or no edge, I said guy. So now for the second one, you, we kind of like made a little bit of a part with the comb and that's what I like to do because it makes it obvious what I'm trying to go for. So you see I'm doing it with the brush but it's not defining it for real. But I still need the brush to be able to comb the hairs down and push them back there. Then I take the comb and I push it down in the exact same direction. So just like that. And now for the bottom one, try not to pull these up. Let's eat them. Let's eat those now. Sometimes I can tr I try to fit one underneath this third one, but oftentimes it stops right there. That's all I can do. We gonna try it today. So, there we go. We have our swoopies. So, there we go, you guys. This is what it looks like. Um, we have the edges. And we have the swoop part. Um, that's what it looks like. I will go now with the eco, I mean, not the eco, with the edge control and put it over the parts of my hair that need it the most. So definitely over here, like following, doing the same thing with the ego, kind of following that same line on my head where my forehead meets my hair. And then of course on these, I have to put some because they will go away. <laughs> So that is all the places that I like to put it and then a little bit right here. Okay. All right. All 
right, you guys, that is pretty much it for this hairstyle. I don't know why it took me so long to do it, but that is it. This is what the back is looking like. It is a very poofy ponytail. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it like this yet. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Would you leave it like this or would you put it in a bun because it's a little bit frizzy? I don't know. But here is the look. Um, we can pull these out if we want. We can pull these things out so that it can match the other side that we pulled out. And, and there it is, you guys. That is it for this hairstyle. I really like it. It's really fun to do. Um, what I usually do after I'm finished with that hairstyle, I would take a do-rag or a scarf. I'll tie it on and I will leave it on my head until I've reached my destination of wherever I'm going and then I'll just go ahead and pop it off, put it in my backpack or my purse or wherever I'm going, whatever I have. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Hit that post notification bell. Hit that subscribe button. I love you guys so much. Follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat and I will see you in the next one.